Hey everybody, this is Craig. This clip is from the commentary in a previously posted video. For the full video, click the link at the end of this video. We just watched Turner Classic Movies intro for Herbie Goes to Monte Carlo and a bit of the film that aired on TCM in 2008. This was one of the Disney films TCM showed for a month-long series of movies called The Family Classics, which featured older live-action Disney films. The film featured in this video is Herbie Goes to Monte Carlo from 1977, and it's the third film in the Herbie franchise. In the film, Dean Jones returns as race car driver Jim Douglas and is joined by his riding mechanic Wheelie Applegate, played by Don Knotts. In the film, Jones, Knotts, and Herbie participate in a race from Paris, France to Monte Carlo, Monaco, and get mixed up with a bunch of jewel thieves in the process. Along the way, Herbie also falls in love with Alancia by the name of Giselle. This was Dean Jones' last starring role in a Disney feature film, although he did later star in the Herbie TV series in 1983. The film was a moderate success for Disney, grossing $28 million at the box office, but it came nowhere near its predecessors. The Love Bug had grossed $51 million during its initial run, and Herbie Rides Again grossed $38 million during its release. I didn't really care much for this film when I first saw it. Even as a kid, I thought it was silly and kind of dumb in parts. As an adult, I can see how they were sort of trying to make it a little like a Pink Panther film. But even with that in mind, I still feel the same way about it. It suffers in parts from the ridiculous and over-the-top slapstick comedy Disney was injecting in almost all of their movies in the 1970s. It is watchable, but just barely. And that's only because Dean Jones and Don Knotts carry the film in their leading roles. Disney took a lot of liberties in making this film. For example, in the film, Herbie's gas cap is on the side of the car. But as every VW bug owner knows, the gas cap is under the hood in real life. And it's also under the hood in every other Herbie movie. The filmmakers put it on the side in this film so it would be easier for the jewel thieves to hide the diamond. I don't think this is the worst Herbie movie, but it's pretty close. The film has a Rotten Tomatoes score of 60%, which just barely puts it in the category of fresh. I actually think the short-lived TV series in 1983 was better than this film. And here's some interesting trivia related to this film. The film ends with all three characters, including Herbie and Giselle, watching fireworks in Monte Carlo. The next film in the series, Herbie Goes Bananas, was originally going to pick up where this film left off and be about Herbie chasing after Giselle as she was sent to South America. For whatever reason, Disney dropped that angle of the story in Herbie Goes Bananas. And sharp-eyed viewers may notice that the car driven by Von Stickel was later remodeled and turned into the hero car used in the 1981 Disney film Condor Man. This video also included an introduction from TCM host Robert Osborne, who gave some interesting trivia surrounding the film's star, Dean Jones. Osborne gives a nice mini-bio of Dean Jones' career before and after his time at Disney. Well, those are my comments for this video. If you like these retro videos, please subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, click the notification bell, and leave a comment. All these things really help the channel. Keep watching for more retro videos like this and other retro videos like Retro Talk. Take care of yourself and look out for others. Talk to you later. Bye. This clip was from the commentary in a previous video. For the full video, click this link. Keep watching for more retro videos and commentary videos like this. Take care of yourself and look out for others. Talk to you later. Bye. This video brought to you by Stockagogo.com. Stock photos.